What's up, everyone? This is Squigs, and we are back with another episode of Squigs Rom at Grumpet Super Russian World. We're going to Good Desert Morning Friend. So we're gonna go to find the secret exit before I get too far away from it and decide it's fucking impossible and end up cheating, because we don't want that. <laughs> I'm trying to minimize that. Uh, holy shit. Okay, watch out, buddy. Alright, um, so I think I'm just gonna go around, pretty much go in every pipe. I'll, I'll get back to you when we're something new. I'm not gonna make you rewatch the level again. What? Holy crap, I just found an off-screen pipe by jumping and collecting some coins. That was... That was actually... Whoa, shit. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can't believe I dodged that. Um, get out of here, Desert Blarg. Don't fuck with me. You don't want to fuck with me. Yeah, it's so scary. I can't believe I fucking found that. That's clever, though, because the screen doesn't scroll up or down in these levels. I never make... Oh, shit. I was gonna say, I never make a level where you can't scroll up or down. I'm realizing that now. I have, like, one level I've ever made that has... doesn't have vertical scrolling at will on. I think I can only think of one. <laughs> I can't even do it when I'm trying to do it. But fucking accidentally collecting some coins? Sure. I can't believe I reacted quickly enough to that either. I'm too I'm pretty proud of myself so far, folks. I'm pretty proud of myself so far. We just may survive. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, yeah, watch this shit, right? Yep, bounce away, buddy. And guess what? You just despawned yourself. Oh. Oh my! <laughs> I panicked. Oh man. Uh, don't make fun of the fucking Koopas. They don't like it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Alright, yep, get up here. No, oh, I shot fireballs the wrong way. Oh my god, that's so painful. Okay. This time, yeah. I'm going to neuter the turtles, leave them down there. Oh my god. Uh oh. Gotta think quick. I didn't think right was the problem. I thought quickly, but wrongly. Doesn't really do us any good. Oh my god, I'm fucking brilliant. <laughs> I shouldn't be so full of myself, but when I do, it's good though. You, it's There's difference. You know, you should be full of yourself, everyone out there. I'm telling you right now, be full of yourself. If you have an accomplishment, be proud. There's no reason not to. Even, even if it was your excellent skills at video games. <laughs> it's still something, right? It's still something, hopefully. No! Okay. Please allow me to grab that. Perfect. Now, the big problem is getting these guys to swoop out in time. <laughs> oh my god. I'm proud of myself once again. And these fireballs are literally a lifesaver. There's some shenaniganery going on here, I can tell you right now. Just gonna make sure I'm not missing anything before we go forward. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but I don't like it. Oh, it's one-way rope kind of thing. Ah, is it flipped up? That rope is flipped upside down to symbolize that it's going the other way. Cute. How do you do that? Is that a custom block? I've always wanted to make the... Oh my god. I deserve to die there. But I always wanted to make like the reverse cloud is what I think of it as more so than the rope. But the same way, like a reverse ledge like that. I was wondering if you could do that in vanilla or if you needed to add a custom block for that. So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on that, Russian man. Or anyone else that knows for that matter. Alright, moment of truth, folks. We're going back in. Oh! If I was small, I would have been fine. Ah, sprite limitations. Or are they like behind the clouds? There's something going on with these blarks where they're hard to see sometimes, but I can't tell if it's just sprite limitations. Oh, I missed that jump completely. That one's on me. Once more onto the breach. Or wall up the holes with our English 
dead. God damn it. I'm dead. I'm the English dead in this scenario, I think. This is tough. This is tough little jumps. They're not impossible. But they are. They're tricky. They're tricky to say the least. A little bit sneaky. Oh, jeez. Wow, I'm actually gonna make it here with two two flowers for once. Okay, this gives us extra tries. I'm down with that. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you, folks. Thank you. I'll be here all week. God damn, that was... SRW? Oh, A? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my God, it's the end. Okay. <laughs> I think I was supposed to spin jump on those in retrospect, but... What does SRW mean? Oh! Fucking cool. There's two ways to get to the Switch Palace. Possibly even three with this. I... I really like that idea. You hide a Switch Palace, right? But maybe not everyone finds every secret entrance, so there's more than one way to get to it. That's... Th I'm telling you, this hack, when it comes to friggin' ideas, I think it's top-notch. There's so many creative things of this. I really enjoy it. So, let's go to... Oh, shit. So, I don't know what the title is. I'm sorry. I know it has to do with the desert. Sometimes flooded desert. That's what it was. <laughs> is this gonna get unflooded at some point? That's... That is the question. Oh. Underwater we go. Yes, it's one of those moving... Moving floody desert things. I think this was only used in, like, one level in the whole game. It was, uh, one of the... Bonus levels, if I recall. Uh, I don't know how to get up there. There we go. Pretty clever jump. I earned this. Nope. Okay, I feel very unsafe. Thank God I stuck with Z-SNES. I'm sorry about the little bits of slowdown that might have been able to be fixed, I believe. I believe Russian Man told me I, it would be fixed if I used a modern emulator. I don't care. I need this. I need this to survive. <laughs> this is necessary part of life. I kind of want to get that. Our time's not super limited. I'm going to try and grab it. I'm going to try and grab it. There we go. Let's see. Kick it. P-switch. Oh, that's prob it's probably a good thing that I grabbed it. I was thinking, like, oh, it'll be a one-up or a... Or a uh, power up, something like that. Or maybe it's a non-necessary P switch. That's a thing. That is a thing. Do do do, you do 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 do. I'm going into that fucking pipe. You knew that fish was gonna kill me while I was waiting for the pipe, didn't you? That was planned. I know it was planned. Come on, get in. Don't let the fish get you. You let the fish get you, you chump. I need to go back for some power ups. I must say, folks, fireballs make the world go round. <laughs> when it comes to pretty much this, I think the cape is broken. Oh shit, I can't fuck this up. Because I've melted everything, pretty much. <laughs> oh, I fucked it up in the worst way. Um, well, actually, that's fine, I think. Oh, damn it. I was gonna say, fireballs are quite good at killing all the fish in this game. <laughs> double stupid! Ugh, all right. Come on, just walk me in there. Thank you. So this is probably the secret exit, I'm assuming? Holy shit. Here we go. <laughs> These spawners are terrible. Not terrible, I shouldn't say that. They're terribly hard for me to beat without taking damage. I can't, I can't do that very well, but I seem to be keeping very far ahead of it, which is not normal for me. I don't know why. Ah, that, was, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. All right, folks. So, some of you may know that I've had some sort of issues with my eyes recently. So, um, yeah, it's starting to bother me right now. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to pause here. I'm going to come back and finish this episode as tomorrow squeaks, basically. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you more about the eye thing when I come back, but I really just want to lay down right now. So, sorry about the, the fragmentation, but we'll be back soon. Or actually, right now, introducing future Squigs. Thank you very much, Squigs of the past. I appreciate that wonderful introduction, but why did you leave my volume so high? You son of a bitch. We are back. I am back. You are still here. 
<laughs> I think. All right, the volume's fixed. Um, so yeah, I I feel I should explain what's going on for any of you that may not know. Um, so I have a problem with my tooth, right? I've had this problem with my tooth. Um, due to not having dental insurance and not getting taken care of something that I should have taken care of a long time ago by now. So um, I'm gonna wait anyways. Holy shit! What the? F I'm sorry. I'm I'm a mess right now. I'm a mess right now. I'm just kind of settling down for the day. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. So my tooth is a little bit messed up. It's kind of in my, in my right cheek area, like right the upper right side of my mouth. Well, most teeth are either on the upper or the blow bottom, I would say. But um, yeah. So that tooth is fucked up. And it's causing my cheek to kind of get inflamed, almost, like, irritated. And I guess, this is new to me about a week or two ago, but I guess if your cheek is inflamed underneath your eye, it can... Oh my god, seriously? Hold on one second, folks. Just I gotta go serious time for just a moment. I can't get by that. Can't get by that! I gotta despawn him, it's the only chance. Um... Just a moment, just a moment of serious time. Uh, I don't know how to do this, folks. I wish I had one hit. If I could just have one spare hit. I'm gonna try to go under him. Just get in, quick! Oh my god! Whew, that was close. That was close. I'm proud of me. Anyway, so, my... Oh, it's three, literally three ways to the green switch palace. I guess we'll just play through the beginning of this level again while I continue to tell my story. So, um... Get out of here. So, my... Okay. I'm gonna get the power-ups, we'll come back. Okay, we're back to where we left off. As I was trying to say, and I'm sorry about the stagger staggered approach of this, I really hate when I want to tell a story while LPing, because if I, you die and stuff comes up, it makes it really hard. But, um... Well, I don't hate it, but sometimes it gets frustrating depending on how difficult the level is. Anyways! Uh, cheek is inflamed, right? Cheek's inflamed. Oh God, we're not doing that. And, um, it's pushing on something from my eye. Might as well get this. Which is causing my right vision, uh, my vision in my right eye to be blurred. Now, I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys, but anything to do with your eyes, it's fucking with me so bad. So, basically, they just put me on some... Oh, shit, that scared me. They put me on some medicine. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, let's see. They put me on some medicine. It went away. It wasn't enough. It came back. And it's been fucking with my vision. It makes it weird when I play video games. Like, I can't track stuff very well. But I'm back on the medicine today, so we'll be good. We're gonna knock it out this time. Oh, and that connects that way. So, if I had gotten this exit first, I could have came all the way over here and gotten all three of them. And not needed that other exit? Really weird layout, but again, very interesting. And I think that is the theme of this whole hack. We've actually, we've beaten the hack, folks. This is the end. We f we finally beat Super Russian World. Synep to us. We are Synep players. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that. But I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. Right there to the right of me. That means super, by the way. I think in the first episode, I think it said welcome or some shit like that. It's not what it means. It means super. Um... So this fucking hack, let's go through a little tour. Frozen camera, really fun level, cool idea I've never seen before where you switch the height of the camera by getting indoors. Buzzies that live in the cave and die peacefully. One of the best names, <laughs> as well as another cool concept, riding a buzzy. You know, it's got like its own little theme. Pleasant Hills, I don't recall that much. Let's take a quick look at this. Um, oh yeah, I remember this one. This one's kind of just like a normal level. I think. I can't remember exactly, but we won't, won't, won't spend too much time worrying about it. Yoshi loves to eat gold points. I think we know that one by now. Very fun. <laughs> to hell, then back. Um, that was sort of a standard level. That's kind of just like a, tr a tricky level and stuff. Anyways, we got regular castle, clash on the bridge, the scariest house in the world, whoa, ruin event. All of these levels had, most of these are from recent episodes, but yeah. All of these levels had something to offer. You know what I mean? And I think 
that's really hard to do. They all stand out in a way. Maybe like one or two seemed just kind of like average levels, but they were, I mean, they were still fun. But a lot of them really, really stick in my mind. Like even Clash on the Bridge, you remember with the two colors and everything? Like, it's got a cool theme. And I really, I, I like that about this hack. I think a lot of thought was put into making sure every level was special. And it's, it's easy not to do that with every level sometimes, I think. So thank you so much, Russian Man, for sending this one in. This one's definitely... It's just one of those hacks I'm going to remember. I had, I had a really lot of fun playing it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um, yeah, as always, if you have a hack of your own to send in, maybe something you made or something you just want to see played, please let me know down in the comments or send me your hacks with an S at gmail.com. You can just send them over and I'll do them. So, yeah, thanks again for this submission. Everyone else, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the support. And thanks for sticking with me with the scattered upload schedule lately. It's been a lot related to the eye thing I was talking about and other things just going on. But I'm, I'm having a feeling going forward, we'll, I'll, I'll be better. I'll be better. I can't say I'll be good, but it's going to get better. So, yeah, once more, thank you, friends. I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful afternoon. I hope that you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making the video. I hope that you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed improving songs into a microphone in my bedroom when it's really late at night. I almost broke my string. Did you hear it? That would really suck because this is not my guitar. No, this is definitely my roommate's guitar. I don't know if appreciate me breaking his strings while I wake him up at 1am